I'm Carol Judy, and at present you're sitting in a holler in Tennessee. And if you ever heard of Daniel Boone, we're kind of his backyard. There's a 10-mile strip above Egan, above Clearfield, above Hamlin Town, all these little communities. We all look out on this 10-mile strip, and the mountain is disappearing. I'm a root digger. I dig sassafras root. I dig wild yam. I dig black cohosh, yellow root, golden seal. And I dug a little blood root because I promised my mommy some for her skin cancers. When strip mining happens, first the thing they do is they cut the timber. And then they come in and they take away the rest of what was there, the earth that was there. Moving the earth, they disturb the foundation of the forest. So there's beds that I have been digging for 10 or 12 years that are no longer in existence. When they take away the forest and the land, they're taking away a water purification system, they're taking away a carbon cycle, and they're taking away the oxygen production. And these are things that people in urban areas rely on and don't know that's being interrupted and destroyed. We're like the fifth or sixth generation that's lived with abuses of the environment and Men are doing something, I think, that they really don't want to do, but yet they're mandated to take care of their families. And you know, they're hunters and fishermen too. And they probably don't like the results of the work they do either. You used to work in the mine, you were telling me. Yeah, spent time. Where were they at? Where were they uh, at? Valley Creek, Rock Creek, just about all the creeks. Were you inside? Uh, no, I worked in surface mining. Mm, what you like about it? Uh, a paycheck. <laughs> what you dislike about it? <laughs> Pretty much everything else. <laughs> the dirt, the dust. Uh, it's just hard way to make a living. It's a really rough way to make a living. Though we've made our living, we've destroyed the very place that we love. never pay back, but what you do is you pay ahead. It's the hard things it seems like we learn from. And every time I'm in these mountain forests and I learn more about what the mountain forest is, I feel at peace and I feel connected. Then I can understand the human part of it better. And part of that understanding is also creating a way for others to get connected.